Jeffrey Lofts. Is, oh, hey, it's that painting. Oh. I wonder where September he got that 7th, from. September 7th, Blue Corp Incorporated. Wait, really? Blue Corp Incorporated? Yep. All right. Blue, <laughs> Blue Corp, Corp Incorporated. Incorporated. CEO's office. Hmm. What's with the surreal decor? Also, why is the Blue Corp logo? Welcome. Green? Welcome. Please furnish me with you, with the title of your personage. My god, you're right. The Blue Corp logo is red. Sorry. <laughs> On green. What the? Your name. What was your name? Bing. I was just in inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Ding. Splendiferous! Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary? Ding. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenge. <laughs> what a fruitcake! Hmm, let me guess. You're an attorney fresh out of law school, you know. That's the only explanation for why would you why would you come to meet me like this? What does he mean by that? No matter. So what business do you have or what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself, a man with lots of money and means? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale! He's We're really testing Senko's like right reading and pronunciation skills here. Yeah, it's like he he just threw up at the Saurus. Yeah, he's... It's not I like he actually knows what any of those words mean. I, I No, I think it's less that he's, he's throwing up a thesaurus, but... He just makes he up words. Yeah, he read a thesaurus once and is like, yeah, I remember And filled in the blank. That. Yeah. <laughs> He literally made up words in those sentences. Mm -hmm. He like combined three words that he read in with the source together and was like, this is word now. He mm -hmm. used the yeah. word splendiferous. Who's gonna call him? I do he has like far that. too much money. That one actually is a real word. Ms. Why is May, red is white it, not oh. wearing red or white? Mm. Because it's pink. Red, red and white make pink. I guess. That's true. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my Secretariat. What horse? a shock! What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description, of course. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But, I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. We have too much money for that. It's infallible that she would do this. Ineffable. Sounds like he's trying to turn uh, Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to the mundane details such as time and place. My motto is... Don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White... You stole that from the Little Mermaid! The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. Hmm. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'll be capable of doing that. Hmm. There is a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh-ho-ho! -ho. The police? The courts? To me, they are mere toys to play things for my amusement. 
Does he have a Minecraft diamond on his chest? Yep. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? A green one. Ah, an excellent question. <laughs> we buy and sell various kinds of information. That's not corporate espionage at all. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just ten years, I've built this I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Amazing. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. That's why I don't use it in my logo. <laughs> fantabulistic, is it not? It is fantabulistic. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. It's gorgeous. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Or, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Uh -huh. Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing, zilch, zippo, nodder. Just like that, sorry excuse for an attorney, Grotty Burger. Who, what? Ah! Ugh! Ah! Ah! Uh, uh, he... he punched me! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. Because I have money. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comprehension. A world of money. A world beyond your compensation. Oh, compensation. Same thing. Comprehension really would have fit better. You, mm. thank you. You came here from Grotty Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you? Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Such go, alliteration. Go now, skedaddle, there's nothing more to discuss. You're, you're right, I have no more prompts to pick. Yeah, you're right. I actually, <laughs> I guess I'm done. There actually is no more to discuss. Go to Gross Burgers. Yeah. Yep. Grody Burger. Burger. Mm. Look at him. How do you oh. live life for just profit? Mm. You may not like it, but this is huh? peak male performance. I don't think he's noticed me standing like. here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! <laughs> Jumping Jehoshaphat! Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. That much is clear. Damn this music. Music is always amazing. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... My sister 
Or Mia's sister. I get them mixed up so often. <laughs> we all That's do, don't boring. worry. I'm bored. I owe you my thanks, true. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. You would have lived with the girl forever, probably. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Right, Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. Hmm. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging on there, hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose you sh I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. <laughs> no, please do it! Do it! <laughs> Not something I can claim to understand. You and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? <laughs> what, my boy? It's true. You sent that painting to him. <laughs> as a sign. A sign of undying love! <laughs> my boy, please. You're letting your fancies run away with you. <laughs> Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I... I don't understand how you could. That's because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. I love this Enough. Game now. I'll swallow my pride and tell you. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Oh I my knew God. it. They are lovers. <laughs> no, we are not lovers. Did you just respond with a He did. He, he, he can see it in my eyes. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses. I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs! As you, su <laughs> as you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. Wife would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. We are not lovers, you asshole. <laughs> it's hard for me to I knew it, you, my boy. Well, I knew they were lovers. <laughs> but arresting Red White would be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. I do have an iron grip. Attorneys, prosecutors, police, politicians. What? And even my mustache. <laughs> they are bound to them, unable to do harm to, the, to them. They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Mustache. <laughs> Don't look at me, boy. What you see is nothing more than waste of many years. And it's many lasagnas. Years. And a really big mustache. And so many carbohydrates. <laughs> <laughs> what is the DL6 incident? 
Beelzebub is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Not Her name was Misty Fay. Ah! Uh, Fay! Indeed. She was Maya's mother. Mia's mother? Mia. I mean, the same thing. Their sisters all the time. Yeah. Also Maya's mother, but whatever. She had been investigating a murder. The bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Hmm. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? Don't forget what? Y'all better get used to hearing about the DL6 incident, I'm yeah, just saying. sounds important. The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The, poli <laughs> the police did not want people to know they were using a medium. I the farts bad. Mm. I'll be right back, y'all. They so couldn't the let days. people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who stole them out. Of course, White heard about it when he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. Mm. I see. White controls the law of this office, uh, the, <coughs> the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Maya's office. Mia's, Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Mm. Bye, bitch. Well, back Going to, back, back to, to the, the office room. now. Bay and co-law offices. Look at this room. Somehow it seems so normal. You didn't even say goodbye to me. Fuck How you, Mr. Grossberg. You? It's hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have another look. I figured out 